I think you can do it. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, where we don't mind a Lone Star State libation every now and then. You know, back in the mid-2000s, Texas was home to about nine distilleries. Today, there's over 200. Whiskies and vodkas are the most popular. But down in San Leon, there's a distillery doing something a bit different. So we headed down south to run to Raylene's Rum. <laughs> Just southwest of Houston, you'll find sunny San Leon sticking out in Galveston Bay. Famous pirate Jean Lafitte used to sail these very waters, but now there's a watering hole he would fit right in at the Buccaneer Bar at the Raylene Rum Distillery. It is a little piratey in here. It's a bit piratey, yeah. 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 Kelly Raylene and her husband Matthew established the Raylene Distillery in 2006, becoming the first rum distillery in Texas. People were looking for smaller family-owned and operated produced products, higher quality, handcrafted, American-made, you know, Texas-made. The former wine sommelier still enjoys a glass of vino, but when she sails the seas of Southeast Texas, a whole new side of Kelly comes out. Back when we did all the pirate stuff, people just thought there was something wrong with us, you know, but now pirates are cool. I was totally ahead of the curve on that, so. <laughs> like I was in the grocery store the other day and someone went, Raylene, Raylene, and I didn't, and I kind of looked and I turned around, they're like, ah, and I didn't even know who they were. <laughs> I'm like. While living out her not-so-secret scallywag lifestyle with friends, they came up with a pirate plan. Arr! Not to pillage or plunder, but rather produce their own product. One night we're drinking, we're all dressed as pirates, we're having this pirate party, and there was a bottle of rum, and it was uh, not, not great. I don't know, just my husband and I goofing off. We're like, yeah, we could make better rum than that. So the pirate pair decided to set sail on their own adventure and created Raylene Rum. The laws that constitute a rum are it's got to be made from sugar cane juice or sugar cane molasses. As far as how do you take the proof off the still, do you age it, do you not age it, do you flavor it, do you this? You can do a lot of different things with that. Where a lot of other spirits, you have this set of rules that you can only use X, you can't add anything to it, or you have to use this kind of barrel, you have to. Rum is very, for that reason, you got stuff all over the boards. Which kind of makes it so piratey because you really didn't have any rules with it. True. Now on the other hand, there's a bad side of that, which is that there's a lot of pretty rough and bad rum out there. The science of it is what fascinated me when I first started doing this. Kenny Bradshaw is a former merchant of the finest ships on the sea. Well, he sold boats. But when he retired, he joined Kelly's crew to help create the claps of thunder being produced at Raylene's. Some of these are gonna be whiskey, some okay. of them are gonna be rum, some okay. of them are gonna be agave spirits. This is our small barrel rack. There's about 100 and probably 15, 117 barrels in here. They're 15 gallon barrels. They're American white oak and we use a really heavy char. When you think about it, San Leon's a perfect location for something like this because these barrels have got to contract and expand like crazy in right. Houston humidity and weather. Right. Yep, and that helps us a lot. I see some uh, liquid coming out here. Are we actually distilling as we yes, speak? Yeah, we're gonna let you taste that right off of the still. Wow. Stick oh. your finger in there just like that. Just you like can't contaminate it. Anything over 70% alcohol kills everything. Yes. So you're gonna take your finger like that and then take a nice little dollop. All right. I think you can do it. This is truly better than some stuff you can buy in a bottle. It's actually very good, but wow. We get some people that say that it's, it tastes sweet. Yeah, it does taste um, sweet. And you assume that it's sweet because it's made, rum is made from molasses. It's actually impossible for a sugar molecule to go through a still. So any distilled spirit has no sugar in it unless it was added in after the fact. The distilling's fun too. I mean, who doesn't like, you know, being doused in molasses and, uh, you know. Sounds like pirate punishment. It is, yes. It's a very <laughs> sticky, labor intensive mess over there, definitely. After bottling a little bit of rum, it was time to toast my hearties. Yo, ho, 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 that's, wow, not what I expected, yeah. That's like. Well, it's also 40% alcohol. Oh, you didn't tell me that part. Most spice drum out there is going to be about 20, 30% <laughs> alcohol, yeah. which is not good. That means they've added water to it oh. and they're, you know, they're kind of laughing all the way to the bank. We don't do that. It is truly by design to get it that way. This has been barrel aged for about four years in a brand spanking new barrel. So that's very unique for a rum. Very few rum companies are gonna use a new barrel. So um, nothing added to it. No color, no sugar, no flavors. It's a, uh, you can totally sip it, but it's like 30 some dollars a bottle. So it's not too pricey to go ahead and mix it either. Oh, 
That's the rum you need. Isn't that good? That is awesome. That's the rum you need when you have a big stogie. Exactly. So if you feel like sailing the seas of the Lone Star State, start your journey at Raylene's Rum in San Leon. The proper place for a pirate or any person to experience the tropical side of Texas. I gotta go find where I park my pirate ship. Ha ha ha.